Who here read Akira? You should read it. It's really kind of amazing. I, again, I, I grew up in the 80s with the whole nuclear terror thing on us. Again, I say this all the time, but it's true. When I was living in New Jersey, you could see New York City from the front of my apartment. Yeah. And the ABC News, like almost every night, would have that photograph, they'd have that map picture of what was going to be destroyed when the nuclear bombs fell. And it would show this big circle over all of New York City, all of northern New Jersey, and I was like, we're doomed. <laughs> and my uncle was in the army in a tank base in Germany, and my uncle would come back from Germany in the 80s and be like, son, we're fucked. <laughs> you know? And I used to suffer, I used to suffer again, total, just a herb. I used to suffer from like really bad night terrors of nuclear annihilation. So I was that, I was that little dude who would be like screaming. I'd be like, ah! <laughs> my brother, my brother used to literally beat me up because of that. He'd be like, I'm gonna fucking knock you out and you scream again. <laughs> you know? So, this manga, Akira, which is in many ways takes that entire zeitgeist, that entire fear that in the 80s was incredibly dense, was almost palpable, takes that zeitgeist and imagines this kind of colossal conspiracy of, about government forces, corporations, and scientists trying to harness and capture youth energy to further sort of like the imperial ambitions of neoliberalism, it made perfect fucking sense to me, man. A kid who could blow up like an atomic bomb, that was like someone attempting to harness and domesticate our most basic terror in that period. And as a way to sort of domesticate what we feared most, it also made perfect sense to me. And as a traumatic counter song to the nuclear horrors visited upon Japan, it also made sense to me. You know? And you know, people of color know all about being blown the fuck up. Some of us in atomic ways and other of us in other ways. And we're not alone in this. It's the most horrible community at all, but we're not alone in this. And in that way, Akira made sense to me too. It's my dream narrative. Other motherfuckers want to write like, I don't know what y'all want to write. But what y'all want to make a movie of? But if I could make an Akira, I honestly I'd smoke one and jump off the bridge, yo. <laughs> Done. No, for real. I would totally sound like an MC. I would be like, 